I'm Chris McCusker in the 680 Business Center. A winning week on North American markets on both sides of the border. The TSX now looking at a gain year to date of 7%. It was up by about half a percent over the course of the last five days. And another good day for the pot stocks. Canopy growth surged after another analyst upgrade, and shares in Kronos hit a one year high. Now, in the U.S., a winning week there as well, with gains of about 1%. Late today, we got word the U.S. government will begin reopening for just three weeks. Details on border security are still to be worked out, and this latest deal does not include money for the wall. Keep in mind, U.S. China trade issues still unresolved, with talks slated to restart next week. And then a longtime advisor to the U.S. president was also arrested, though he plans to plead not guilty. An earlier start to the holiday season probably helped Starbucks in its latest earnings report. The coffee chain says it saw better than expected results after a disappointing holiday in 2017, and starting the holiday drink season earlier is getting some of the credit. Now, stores also rejigged to allow a clearer path to gift cards, and it appears that worked in the U.S. Gift card sales jumped by 12%. Starbucks sales and locations open at least a year were up by 4% worldwide in the October to December period. A few more companies are jumping on the plastic bandwagon. This time we're talking about KFC and Walmart Canada. KFC says all plastic-based consumer-facing packaging will be recoverable or reusable by 2025. And Walmart says it will move to reduce plastic bag use also by 2025, and it will take about a billion bags out of circulation. Walmart, like other companies, plans to replace plastic straws with paper alternatives by next year. Now, all of this a topic of discussion at the World Economic Forum in Davos, which wrapped up today. And coming soon to a baseball uniform, the swoosh. Nike will take over from Majestic Athletic as Major League Baseball's uniform supplier starting next season. And the familiar swoosh is expected to be displayed prominently. It's a 10-year deal with Nike, and it replaces a previous announcement which said Under Armour will succeed Majestic, which has been the exclusive supplier of game uniforms since 2005. I'm Chris McCusker in the 680 Business Center for City News.